Hello and uh, welcome. This is PV and uh, today I want to talk about this amazing lens. I've been wanting a lens like this for long. So when I heard that TT Artisan was coming up with this lens, I jumped at it. I placed an order the day it was announced and then I had it within a week. Shipped from China. This is a tilt lens. It's not a tilt shift lens. So there is no shift. It's just tilt. And typically, and why did I need this lens? Because typically with a, with a tilt shift lens, you can do two things. One is shift obviously, which is basically move the lens up a little up or down, right? The lens has a big image circle, so you could move it up or down to cover things which are higher than your camera level. So you don't have to tilt the camera up, but you simply shift the lens up and then, uh, you know, get the image of something which is higher on a higher plane and that avoids perspective distortion, right? So you don't get those uh, parallels becoming convergent. So that's what typically uh, a shift is used for, or you can shift sideways, right? Uh, to cover more or you can take three shots and then stitch them and you know plethora of things now a tilt if you come from the large format family of cameras tilt is typically used to Typically and there is another use for it, but typically it's used to increase the depth of field At a given aperture now at a given aperture There is a certain depth of field, but when you tilt there is something called the shine flux principle that kicks in you can read that on the net and you know, you increase the depth of field. You, you basically get two different planes of focus in focus. So you could have an object in the front, you could have an object at the back and you could get both of them in focus without actually necessarily increasing your aperture to insane, you know, f-stops, right? Now, what I wanted to do was the opposite. I wanted to blur so which means the corollary should also be true, which is basically you can render things in the same plane of focus out of focus because of the tilt. So I know it sounds a little confusing, but I'll, I'll show you some pictures and, and you know, uh, tell you what I mean. So here you see this now, there's a knob here and you can loosen it or tighten it. And then you basically tilt the lens. Now, you can, uh, if you just mount it, this is an L mount lens for my Panasonic S1R, which is my go-to camera. And uh, if you fit it like this, it, it basically tilts sideways. And the beauty of this is without dismounting the lens, you can rotate it. And you can rotate it up to 90 degrees. So then it becomes, you can tilt it up and down. And then there are five degrees, uh, five degree steps from zero to 90 degrees. So you could have a five degree, uh, am I right? No, it's 15 degrees, sorry. So there's a 15, 30, 45, uh, 60, 75, and 90. So, so this creates a lot of uh, options. This, this gives us a lot of options to do stuff with this. So imagine you're shooting a, a couple. Uh, I'm a wedding photographer, portrait photographer, so that's what I'd use it for. So let's say, the bride is near the lens and the groom, you want the groom to stand a little away behind her, a few meters behind her to the side somewhere. You can get both of them in focus without really focus stacking or trying to, uh, you know, uh, again, like really, really narrow down the aperture. And remember when you narrow down the aperture, everything is going to be in focus. But with this, what you can do is you can just get the bride and the groom and probably a line connecting them in focus, the plane, that plane in focus and everything else will be blurred. Now this is a 1.4, F1.4 lens, very well built, heavy. But here's the thing, they need not have made this 1.4. Now at 1.4, it's soft, it fringes. But by F2, 2.8, it's beautiful. It, it renders beautifully. And they could have made it potentially an F2 or 2.8. They could have reduced the size and um, 
uh, you know, because because in, in, in a lens like this, in a tilt lens, you're not seeking blur with the aperture, but you're seeking blur by tilting the lens. So why do I need a 1.4 lens? Now I already have the TT Artisan 1.4 50mm lens, which is beautiful. Uh, that's the M mount. I, I use it on my Leica monochrome and it's a beautiful lens, sharp at 1.4. But I think the elements here are different, obviously, because uh, this is a bigger lens. This is a tilt lens. Obviously, the, the design is different. And uh, unfortunately, this is not fantastic or great at 1.4. But like I said, I don't need to shoot it at 1.4. I can still shoot it at f2, 2.84 and still get some amazing blur. Now, the bokeh quality is excellent. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. It, it kind of renders uh, like a vintage lens. There is a bit of a spherical uh, kind of feel of the bokeh in the edges. And uh, like I said, wide open there is fringing, but then a lot of lenses have that. Top down it goes away and that fringing also is in very high contrasty situations. Uh, but, but if you're shooting a normal portrait in decent soft light, shouldn't really impact you much. It comes with very good packing, and I was really impressed. Uh, this is the uh, this is the box it came with, built of very good quality, uh, and uh, there's there's foam inside. Simple packing, but really nice, and uh, all for like what three hundred some uh, bucks, uh, three hundred some dollars. So I jumped at it, and this was something I was really looking for. I really wanted somebody to launch this. Now the only tilt shift lenses you really have are the ones that were made in the uh, DSLR era or the SLR era, which continued into the DSLR era. And, uh, you know, for mirrorless, you either adapt those lenses uh, and that, that's pretty much it because uh, for the either the Canon RF mount or the Leica L mount or the Nikon or the Sony, tilt shift lenses are just not made. It's, it's almost like it's a lost art and nobody wants to use it because of focus stacking and all that stuff. But there are still some things you can do only with a tilt lens. You, you well, of course, digitally uh, there are softwares which can, um, you know, alter the the plane of focus and render something like a tilt lens, but nothing like the original one, right? So, so that's what uh, I did. I did a shoot uh, with this beautiful model called Yuri, and I also shot uh, elsewhere. So here are some pictures and. Uh, for example, in this picture, you see if the groom had been standing here, that plane of focus would have, uh, you know, uh, the, the would have hit the groom and then the bride in the front near the lens and the groom way back there would both have been in focus. Now, the other good thing with mirrorless cameras, which have focus speaking, is that when you tilt the lens, you can actually see the plane of focus because of focus peaking. So let's say your focus peaking is in red. You can actually see the whole plane of focus. It might be diagonal, it might be going elsewhere, it might be straight, it might be with a slight tilt, five degree, 15 degree, whatever. You can clearly see, uh, so you can actually place your subject along the plane of focus or you can adjust it. Uh, now it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, how to tilt the lens to get a certain plane in focus. But if you're shooting a portrait, you know what? Just, just go crazy. I mean, just just keep moving it around and refocusing, right? And then just take a shot because sometimes you're you're lucky and it renders beautifully, even though you don't intend it. Uh, it it really renders beautifully. So yeah, it's it's an amazing lens. Uh, the other thing is very well built. Like I said, good quality. Doesn't feel cheap plastic at all. So I'm I'm really having fun with this, and I really look forward shooting a wedding early next month. So looking forward to shooting a few portraits with this and, uh, you know, uh, putting this to good use. So what do you think about a tilt lens? Uh, now this comes in a Sony Canon Nikon mount, I guess, apart from the L mount, really cheap. So might want to just get this and, and uh, you know, get creative. Uh, let me know what do you think about a tilt lens in your kitty? Thank you.